Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In front of us, we see uh, the next uh, a lesson on Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam or the messenger how, of the uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. How are you going to explain this concept? Well, uh, here I have again a lesson plan which tells us exactly what we need to focus on. I realized when I was teaching this that the children didn't even know what a messenger was. So in order to explain just what a, what is a message and what is a messenger, I begin my class or begin my circle time with um, letting one, uh, calling up a child and letting him wear uh, this um, sign that says messenger and then giving him a message and letting him take it to another child. And I had these written on some slips of paper, which I cut out. And then these slips can be given to a child and you can ask him or her to go give it to a teacher or to go give it to a particular student or to go give it in a, you know, as someone uh, is sitting in the class who's maybe participating that day. And then you can read out the message and let the children know that they, the one who gives the takes the message is a messenger and the one who gives uh, and this is a message so this is a message that is given from someone to the messenger who delivers it to someone who the message is for so that is the first concept that is given to uh, through this uh, circle time or th this concept and that is how the next step would be that in the same way once the children have done it a couple of times and they really enjoy it because most children love to participate and it's a very active part of the class. Then you show them this uh, globe. I have them uh, a globe and I tell the children that in just the way the, you saw that a message was given, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent his messengers uh, all around the world and with the message. And then you tell them, well, the, the message was, do you know what the message was? The message was, there is only one God, La ilaha illallah. So you can say, La ilaha illallah, there is only one Allah, La ilaha illallah, there is only one Allah. And then you can tell the children that, you know, the message was sent to many different parts of the world, and then a messenger came here, and a messenger came in Africa, a messenger came in North America. Of course, most of the messages messengers were concentrated in one particular area in, in those days. But um, you can, to make this like a general uh, knowledge or, or recap something what the children are already learning in class, which is the continents, you can actually say continents continents do you know your continents north south east west all around the world asia africa north and south america australia antarctica and europe too and europe too so you can tell the children well you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a messenger here and you know he said Tell the people about La ilaha illallah, there is only one Allah. But the people did not want to listen and they scrunched up the message. They didn't want to read it. They just tore it and they wanted to throw it away. So you can do that or you can tear up the paper in the, in the note in the class or the chit in the class uh, to show them. And you look horrified when you do that and say just like that, Allah Ta'ala sent a messenger uh, to different parts of the world and then when they didn't listen they didn't listen and finally the last messenger Allah Ta'ala sent Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you know what the message was and then you can show them of course I have a big copy of the Quran but it would be nice if you have a small copy of the Quran say this was the message and then you can say that in the message you can read out little bits like you don't really have to read out but you say Look, Allah Ta'ala said, be kind to your parents. Then he said, be kind to people who don't have parents. Be, and be very firm with people who steal. Allah Ta'ala does not like people who steal. We should not lie. So like that, you can open up random pages of the Quran and show it to them and tell the children that, you know, this Quran was for many people in fact the quran was for people all around the world and here i have pictures that i uh, got from the national geographic 
and I just uh, put them on, um, mounted them on chart paper, so they're already always here laminated with me. So I just have to pull them out. Uh, people in Arabia. The message was from the for the people in Arabia. The message of the Quran was for the people in China. And what was and what was the message? La ilaha illallah. There is only one Allah. La ilaha illallah. Muhammadur Rasulullah. And now the last messenger is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He is the Rasul of Allah. Look. And the messages for people in South America, and the people in China, and the people in Africa, and the people in Europe, and the people in North America, and Antarctica. You can see Antarctica here, where there's lots and lots of snow. So the message is for everybody around the world. So if you can explain that to them, you basically have explained that the message is for everyone around the world. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a messenger who came, who is the last messenger of Allah. And he is also going to take care of this book. So we must try and learn how to read the Quran, recite the Quran and understand its message. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.